What what would happen if they did put together a little players advisory council and they asked you all and Kruitz to come into the building and work with Ryan Pace and help? Uh, would you do that? What would you say to him? I'd ask you if they're, if they're talking about for free, right? Are you talking about for free? Because the last time they offered me a job, uh, they offered me $15 an hour. Um, so that wasn't enough. So I wouldn't come in there and help them work because nothing is for free. All of us have worked hard at uh, gaining all this information, all this knowledge, training players on the side, helping players develop uh, in uh, their careers right now. We ha- I help them develop in football, uh, learn about training them, learn about helping them uh, you know, advance their career. So it would just be, what are you asking me to do? Because I'm not going to just come in there, uh, give you information so you can say I gave you information, but you're not going to listen anyway. So uh, it, it would depend on what they're actually asking you to do, whether it be me, whether it be Patrick Manley, whether it be Brian Erlacher, uh, whether it be, you know, Jimbo Colvert, uh, all these guys have knowledge, but the Chicago Bears have to be serious. And the only way you show you're serious is you have to pay for the knowledge that you're asking for. They didn't really offer you a job for $15 an hour, did they? I wouldn't, I wouldn't make that up, Danny. Yes, they did. That's the way they do business. What? Those are the things that have to change, right? Those, this is what we're talking about, right? What? Harry Heastan came in. Harry Heastan just got hired by Notre Dame. Harry wanted me to come in there and help. Uh, uh, with the offensive line development, help coach offensive line. Uh, I would only be their player hours was my understanding. Uh, they offered me $15 an hour to come in there as like an independent contractor. That is exactly what they did. In, so what is this, like 2016, 2017? 2018, right? Harry Heaston was hired in 2018. He was 18. fired after the 2019 oh season. God. Uh, Coach Nagy brought uh, him in from Notre Dame. If you guys remember, uh, he was one of the highest sought-after offensive line coaches uh, in the world at that time. Uh, the Bears got him here. He wanted to bring in uh, me and Donovan Raiola. Now Donovan Raiola is the uh, offensive line coach at Nebraska. He left. Nebraska hired him, but uh, that was his idea. Uh, that was what they offered me. I saw Ryan Pace at camp in 2019, and he made a joke about it. He said, well, I guess we could have done a little better than that. How old? And the answer is yes, you could have. I mean, that is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Who who approached you with the offer? And I can only imagine you said no instantly. But, like, what is that? What, what Why would they think that you would accept a minimum wage job like you're working a cashier somewhere? Yeah, I, don't, I, I wouldn't understand either. Harry Heastan obviously brought the offer to me. Okay. Um, why, you know, I'm not going to obviously – I'm not shocked. Like I told you guys, like – uh, that didn't shock me, right? Uh, that didn't the, the offer didn't shock me. The way they approached it didn't shock me. Uh, obviously, Harry is a good friend of mine. I just said, you know, Harry, for that amount, I cannot obviously work all those hours and try to help. Wow, yeah, it's like it's like car parking um, uh, mm-hmm. up at Hallis Hall. Um, th- that that's insane. That, that's insane, Olin. And I, man, <laughs> they, they have to have a better grip on the reality of the universe at this point, don't they? You would think? You would hope so, but they have to show you at first, right? And Until they show us that they are actually moving in a different direction, right? Because uh, shuffling Ryan Pace around, you would have a lot of questions about that, obviously. If you look at just he's been here the seven years, why isn't he a part? How did you separate him uh, from, you know, firing Fox? How did you separate him from firing Nagy? How do you separate him from the Mr. Trubisky decision? How do you separate him from the Glennon decision, the Kevin White decision, the Leonard Floyd. Anyway, you go on and on and on. Uh, what did you actually like? Why did you keep him here? What is, and then when he sits there and they, if they do keep him, then it's okay. Now, Ryan, what is your plan? What have you learned in these seven years? What did you tell George McCaskey that you can turn this building around? Who are you going to bring in here to develop players? Thank God Mitch offered you, what, 16, 17 to come work over here? <laughs> 15 and a quarter. That's all, yeah, all you have to do is beat it. 15 and a quarter. $15 an hour. So so Ryan Pace then sees you and jokes, huh, I guess we could have done a little bit more to get you in the building. And you're like, yeah, you could have. And then it just ends? Yeah, or do you and Ryan Pace just, talk? I just took it like, I just took it like Harry Heastan probably really wanted me there and these guys didn't, right? So they... They make an offer that they know you're not going to say yes to. So that's just the way I took it. Yeah. Uh, which is fine. But it's just not, it's just not to me. 
It's just an example of not the way you do business when you're running a major organization in the NFL. No, and, I, I would agree with you. And, and and that last point that you made, Olin, is just a way to not get you in the building. They didn't want you in the building because you would tell them a version of the truth that they don't want to hear. That's the fear. That's what happens when a front office like this kind of pats each other on the back and elevates each other is that they don't end up getting to hear the, the, the hard truths. Olin, I just want to let you know that my nanny makes $23 an hour. <laughs> and you know what? How, how's her spike step? How's her spike step? $23 an hour, Olin, to, to watch one toddler. Can she set the edge like she needs to? <laughs> Oh uh, man! Well, if, if it's if it's your son, she's probably underpaid. Yeah, so she's probably gonna get a couple more dollars. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Oh. Olin, thank you, my friend. As <laughs> always, we'll, it, we'll we'll talk soon. You're the best. Have a good day. Fifteen dollars an hour. That is a non-offer. That is. Yeah, you think? Yeah, that that <laughs> is Harry Heastan coming and saying, "I want to bring in Olin Kruitz. He's great. He's in town. He's here as my assistant OL coach." And oh, okay, well, I'll consider that, Harry. And then fifteen dollars an offer is the offer. Let me give you an offer. You will refuse, yeah. guaranteed. So, so it was a a players' hours only offer. So he would, be, if the players are in the facility, he's in the facility. If they're on the field, he's on the field. But he's not like grinding tape and staying late or all that. But, okay, but still, I get that's not a salaried position. I get that. I, I mean, kind of. Like that can't that can't be fifty thousand bucks. They're worth $5 billion. <laughs> that can't be 50K. That's crazy, man. That is so insulting. How many How many assistant offensive line coaches do the Patriots have? I, You know what? Like I, a good organization. Do you have a couple and are they on salary? We I, can find the answers to that kind I, of thing. $15 an hour for Olin Krutz. 